Today is September 16th, 2021. This is the Planning Commission for the Village of Leonard. I um, open up, up the meeting today at 7.15. Um, I'd like to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And a short invocation. Uh, we pray that we can make fair and just decisions for the best interests of the community. Amen. Amen. Okay. I'll start with roll call. Mr. Almiranti. Mrs. McKenna. Uh, he's with. He's absent with excuse. Almiranti. Okay. Excuse. Okay. Mrs. McKenna? Here. Mr. Noaker? Here. Mrs. Swett? Uh, she's delayed in arrival. Okay. Lori Zelma? Here. Here. Okay. okay. Um, the next thing, if, if everyone had a chance to approve, I'll, I'll, I'll approve the, I'm sorry, I'd like to make a motion to amend the uh, order of um, items in the agenda. Uh, since Jennifer's delayed, I'd like to uh, uh, push the sidewalk discussion to the end, so it would become, instead of B, it would be D. So, I, uh, can I get a motion to change the order of, um, actually, the, <laughs> Let's just change the order altogether. We'll do bylaws first, which would be A. We'll do uh, the labor control, which would be B. We'll do the uh, sidewalk, the, the secretary discussion C, and the sidewalk discussion D. And that's just based on uh, Jennifer's arrival. Okay, I'll make a motion that we change the order of the agenda to have the bylaws first, liquor control conversation second, um, secretary discussion third, and sidewalk discussions last. And your motion includes the approval of the agenda. I'll approve that. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now moving right along uh, to the minutes from July. If everyone has a chance to review it, I think it was sent to you in an email. Mm -hmm. uh, any comments, changes, or concerns? Nope. Um, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Okay. Can I get a second? Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay, moving along on the agenda, we have no audience members except for our tried and true video crew. <laughs> and uh, now we can move on to planning commission business. Okay, one, the bylaws update. Um, the village. A uh, lawyer and the village council and all of the committees in Leonard are updating their bylaws to include the new regulations for having uh, digital meetings, remote meetings, uh, Zoom meetings in this new digital world. So. Uh, did everyone get a chance? It, it's kind of nice to read them over. Uh, we don't have to read them out loud, but uh, to read them over because there could be times when we could use this if one of us was out of time. Mm -hmm. If we followed the rules laid in the letter, I would suggest that you, there's prescribed number of days that you have to notify uh, the public, uh, if we're going to do something like that, you would have to let me know a couple days before to see if it was possible to do that. Right. I just 
sync with the open-endedness of not knowing what's going on with the current COVID right. situation, that um, it's definitely something that needs to be addressed. Right. Um, I think all of us probably got the email and had a chance to look at it. Right. I, mean, I looked at it earlier. I know it this seems really straightforward. Right. I mean, I didn't see anything about it that seemed right complicated. I think it could be. And I, I you know, I, I'm sure that we could, you know, accommodate the rules to make a remote meeting. I thought, okay, there's one one way I could be remote, but it's harder for the chairperson to be remote. When the chairperson's remote, uh, you have to have the whole video set up here. Everyone would have to have, I think, their like computers. Uh, one person would have to be here with. There, it was really not clear, like oh. exactly how. Okay. If the chairperson was absent, it was a little different. You had to notify the public, and the, we would have to. We would have to run the meeting with them involved in the meeting, how, like remotely. How would we so notify the public? It would have to be just published. Okay. Like we publish. Okay. Notice. Okay. So I'm just gonna make a note of that because I must have glossed over that. Yeah. Part. It's we have to. There's a certain time limit before the meeting. You have to notify the public that they could join the meeting. Okay. So it, I, it, it wouldn't necessarily be that one person would have to be here. It would just be that. Um, it would have to accommodate the Zoom meeting with public joining. Okay. So, anyways, um, uh, it's recommended by the village attorney that we, and the state of Michigan, that we adopt this. Let's see, I read the read the motion. Everything's out of order here, so I just check. I guess we could just make a motion to approve the amended bylaws that include digital Zoom meetings and how to perform electronic remote meetings. So can I get a motion for that? I'll make a motion to um, approve the amended bylaws as stated by you. Okay, so that's the board. And I guess I can second it. Now, uh, right now, since this is the day, it's prior to your, you are the secretary currently, okay. until we go further. So you and I have to sign this. Okay. We have a um, page. Here she is. Here she is. So I'll give it to the black. So we approved the. Yeah, right behind it. Okay. Okay. Just want to make a note that Mrs. Slack is joining the meeting here at 7:24. You are in attendance. Yes. Should we amend the vote, open the vote, and close the vote again? I think it passes without her. So it does. I think yeah. can, okay. Um, okay. Because they've got a quorum, so okay. we can continue. Okay. So what? Can't really go backwards. Gotcha. <laughs> Anything's possible. Okay. <laughs> then we can sign there for the meeting too, if you want. Okay. If you want to keep it rolling. That's fine. Yes. That's fine. Let me get like put it up in the corner. Okay. Don't forget. You sign things after the meeting with uh, Mike, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So. Now moving on to, um, we did bylaws first. Now I said B was the liquor control ordinance amendment. So um, that would be ordinance number two of 2021. Um, we are, we are not approving it. We are Reviewing it to make uh, have our comments and to pass it along to the village council and set the date for a public hearing. So I question or uh, ask anyone if you have any 
comments, discussions, any questions about the off-premises alcohol amendment, which the purpose of the ordinance is to amend the text of the Village of Leonard Zoning Ordinance 19 to protect the health, safety, and general welfare of persons and property by limiting off-premises alcohol sales outlets in concentration, operation, and to those areas that are most compatible with such uses. So what that, what my understanding is, is that currently the village has four, um, what people commonly refer to as liquor licenses, but like uh, the party store, it's an off-premise license where people don't drink liquor inside the store, they buy it and take it somewhere else. That's what off-premises means. So like the, the party store next door that's vacant now has a license currently. And if they were to become a bar, let's say, because it's a place right now that's, they have a license, they actually would, my understanding is they would take up two licenses then. They so have the off-premise and. Right. Now, what would, what's unusual is that people can't just, that would be like they'd be a party store and a bar. And probably not. Right, so they would only be, so. they'd be one or the other, so they yeah. wouldn't have two. So that right. was confusing. Maybe it's because they already own one. Right, unless so they would release they that one. Release that one. Sell, or right. sell that right. one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the, the Leonard Market has one and Next door, the vacant building has one. That's the only two. This would limit the number to four in the village, um, just our one mile square area. So, um, considering the population of 400, it sounds um, right. I mean, I think that anything more than that um, would be an awful lot. Would be um, um, like for. Yeah, it would. Be a lot of it would. So um, it seems reasonable just the fact that, you know, just to have it on the record that yeah. this would be where we want to start that. Yeah. I think that would be it for yeah. reasonable. If our village grew to be something larger and, and they came before our zoning board, they could try to get a fifth if sure. they needed to. But um, I can't see that happening in the real near future. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, does any other. Any other comments, questions, concerns? I think the commission is being pretty well in order. Yeah, yeah, very much so. So our job is to, um, after discussing it, we uh, agree to hold the public hearing. Okay. Um, at that time when the public puts their input in, we can also discuss it again. So. I'd like to hear a motion to schedule a public hearing for some time in October, and we'll determine that. I guess we could try to determine that now. We, normally, we would do it on our, uh, our normal meeting, but I won't be here. So we can schedule, we can reschedule our meeting or just have a public hearing. Uh, I suppose it'd be maybe to our advantage, since we're working on other projects, to reschedule our meeting. Mm -hmm. um, we just have to post it. Uh, when are you when available again? Is the end um, of October or this time? Right, it would be the last week of October. Thursday the 28th? That would, would work. It, would it be feasible to schedule a special meeting for the 25th then? Sure. And that way we can kind of recap and put our thoughts on paper to present to council right after that. What do you mean then? Um, the liquor stuff. We have to bring this as a special meeting, right? Oh. Um, so do the well, special meeting on the 25th right before it, and then the 28th is our regular. We could do that, or we don't think we need to combine them together. If we do combine them, even better. Combine them. So okay, gotcha. What's combine the 25th, on the Tuesday? That's a Monday. So the, oh, yeah, that's a Monday. So the, the, the 28th would be a Thursday. Okay, who, okay. Who votes for Monday? Who votes for Thursday? I prefer Monday. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Pick just with it getting. It doesn't interfere with any other village meetings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not on Monday, Monday, October twenty eighth. Five. Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Better for me with my schedule. Okay. How about you, Doug? That'd be fine. So at seven p.m. 
Okay. Uh, Lori, do you want to notify Judy or should I? Um, I can notify Judy and um, get the notice in the paper for the um, the public hearing. Uh, ask Judy if it ha oh yes, the public hearing, yes. Uh, will that also be at 7 o'clock? Yeah, 7 p.m. Okay. On the 25th would be the public hearing and our rescheduled meeting. I don't know if that requires two notices for Judy, or, Let me or if she just posts that on the board outside and that's all it's required. Yeah. Are you duly notified for <laughs> fourth wall violation? <laughs> um, someone has to, Judy will have to let the um, Cable Commission and the Oxford Television know also. Okay. Well, they would have to know because of the public hearing. Okay. All right. Got it. So now I would like to hear a motion to schedule a public hearing for October 25th at 7 p.m. to get input on, from the public on the amended amendment to the Village of Leonard Ordinance number 19-2, I think. Ordinance number 2 of 2021. That's um, cool. I'll make that a motion. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know that that needs a roll call vote. Does it? No. Doesn't need a roll call. Mm -hmm. Okay. With okay. money. Right. Okay. Um, moving along. If if any, everyone would just be kindly kind enough to keep or print out their red line version, or I guess I did I pass out? Yes, mm -hmm. keep your version so I don't have to print it again. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Um, next on the agenda is uh, did the bylaws? Yes. Okay. Is today your birthday? <laughs> Happy birthday. Okay, thank you. Okay. It's also my mother's birthday, but that's fine. <laughs> um, Lori's now on the, she's now been appointed the clerk of uh, the, the council, and it creates a conflict. The conflict is small, but uh, what happens is, is if she does the minutes, and then she's the clerk on record who records the minutes, like accepts them for the village, that's a conflict of interest. Gotcha. So there's two ways we can solve it. I can do the minutes, and then I turn them into her, and she, she checks them, or she records them. Um, or someone else can be the secretary. That's, you know, it's up to, now I don't know if there's a conflict if you can be. I was, I was going to ask the same thing. I don't know, and I forgot to ask Mike. I, ask Mike. I don't have a problem doing it. I, I, my contention is it wouldn't be only because the clerk's job is to be a second set of eyes mm -hmm. on that. So and I can't be checks and balances if I'm writing them right. and then checking them. Right. So, but right. I don't know this for a fact. That's, that's, that's true. worth checking with Mike, if, but if I'm taking out of the equation, if right. you were to do it, you would be writing them, I would be checking them, yeah, so it would still be a checks and balances right. scenario, it would be my guess. Right. But he would know for certain. So and it was just the opportunity mm -hmm. if someone else wanted to add, you know, secretary to their title on the planning commission. Otherwise I will do it, but it's up to whoever wants to or okay. then we can find out if um yeah, if, if you can do that it, if you can do it. Are you interested? That's fine. You sure? Yeah. All right, well, I'll ask Mike, mm -hmm. uh, for the time being, we'll say that you are interested in that and that um, if if it's not a conflict, then you are so deemed. Yeah, we'll I'll, probably I'll, have to. Yeah, I'll just like make a motion that she's interim until uh, approval. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So I'll second that.
forward to our sign-off discussion. Hooray! Correct? Okay. Oh, oh you know what? I just need to check something. Sure. When we did the um, liquor control, I guess we do have to do a roll call mode. Uh, okay. The liquor control um, for, me. The, for the public hearing. So um, okay. I apologize for saying that we do because well, we, we do. Do the roll call. So um, we'll have to do that really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Almiranti? Mrs. McKenna? Uh, yes. Mr. Noaker? Yes. Mrs. Swett? Yes. Mrs. Elna? Yes. Okay. Okay. All in favor, so motion passes. All right. Okay, thank you, Lord. You betcha. Uh, okay. Sidewalk plan. Um, I did a rough outline. Uh, I'm looking for a lot of input. <laughs> so I'm glad we're having the October meeting. I did discuss a lot of things with Mike, but um, what we decided on was let's take our best shot at getting this ready to present to Mike. He'll give us some input, and then we can present it to the board. I mean the, the council. So what I did was some research on the um, complete streets. Um, if, I don't know if anyone got a chance to read what complete streets was. Maybe I think I read it at our next meeting. Yeah. So um, I, I'm looking for, we're going to proofread the document and then like there's a lot of near the end it starts to get more like thought process and then these pictures are projects here so we have to prioritize the projects and compare them to our survey we did and like even that i need to add that we did a site survey see this, there's so much detail it still needs to be updated oh i thought you Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Because um, I, I want to make the uh, uh, Cause I made an overlay made for your, oh, okay. for your, you know, we'll just put it on top. Gotcha. It'll just be tight on top. So matches and the colors and all that. Yep. So, because it, it's real clean, you know, mm -hmm. we can just plop that on. Gotcha. Okay. So, um, I guess we'll kind of do this like we did the, and Lori would know, when we did the, uh, doing the master, redoing the master plan, we just kind of chewed apart each paragraph and, and decided where ideas go, uh, what they mean, what, whatever we're doing. So, um, I guess I can read it and we'll do it that way. Uh, I've got the sidewalk plan, the village of Leonard. I intend to try to get this finalized by November because the budget is reviewed in December. They're working on it and uh, by January it's pretty finalized. So you want to get in as soon as we can mm -hmm. if we want to be a, a future budget line item. Is, is, could it be just phase one that we get? Does the whole thing have to be done? As a whole, that's, or is this phase one just in order to get ourselves to the open. table? That's open. So right. that's why I want to meet with Mike. And that, okay. I'm going to write these questions down because that's a good way for that. Way the question would be funding, uh, you know, phase one only. Right. right. Um, or go for the whole enchilada. Right, right. Because um, phase one or all. I would, just because okay. it's going to be. A work in progress is going to constantly be evolving. Right, right. You because know, we'll get quotes. And, sure. Yeah. Right. I mean, we could go pie in the sky with whatever we want, but it doesn't mean anything if you don't have any data to back it. Right. So well, it's just, it could be a lot of effort for, you know. Right. I think just like you said before, getting something started is what needs to be done. Right. We, we just got to get in there. And, right. Yeah. It's it's change as we learn. And the council can send it back for more detail. Okay, well they can send it back for uh, monetary quotes or you know pick pick 
pick this, pick that, but we kind of start somewhere. Mm -hmm. So the proposal is, well, first I put up here that our, our planning commission, um, I'm the chair, Lori's the secretary, but now that will probably be switched, so that's a change. Uh, Jennifer is the council liaison and secretary. Uh, Doug Noker and Paul Amarani, and then we're going to submit the plan in November. Okay, the proposal, the village, the village of Leonard Planning Commission recommends that the village improve and expand the reach of our sidewalks over a 10-year phased plan. This is in accordance with the recommendations of the Oakland County Complete Streets Program and the State of Michigan Complete Streets Legislation, Public Acts 134 and 135. Signed into law on August 1st, 2010. So, uh, I don't know if we should describe it more so than that, what Complete Streets is, or... No, because you listed the public acts, so... Right, it's... If they change, do you have to change them? Or just let it be a reference to them? Um, you know, I, I don't know if their plan has changed since then. It's just an enacted law, they might do things to... But you don't want to have something incorrect in here because you right. didn't see that they made a change. Right. I, I, I'd rather have referenced it. Right. Just go back to right. If you want to know, go back to that. Okay. Uh, change the wording that is signed into law at this time at on this date. So... So that, this is the beginning. Uh, uh, as you go down the road, it's, everything's going to change, but this is the way it is set up as of August 1st, 2010. Uh, that's, that's the laws that are on hand. Right. So the law's going to change. Mm -hmm. So this will evolve with it. Right. You say eliminate the date and just leave it as complete streets? Well, you can say as a, at the law as of this date. Oh, yeah. Okay. So public acts 134 and 135 as of this date. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the goal, and any other changes you want to make, just, you know, let me know. Uh, the goal is connecting people to destinations. Um, the goal is to move people safely and easily to the common community areas while connecting non-contiguous sidewalks, extending sidewalks to the downtown businesses, schools, nature park, and outlying areas of our community. Does that, anybody see any? Thing. Okay. So then funding sources. Um, this would be the village budget from 2022 to 2032. Um, it's a 10-year span. Uh, that makes it not seem super ambitious, but it makes it seem doable for a small community. Mm -hmm. So um, possible funding sources are a millage and I mean, I can get details from Mike on what that would entail. And, you know, if it could be like we get a village five years into the project. It's not, you know, we don't have to do it right at the beginning if we have the big portion of a giant section that we want to, a giant section, a quarter mile long sidewalk. <laughs> That could be a part that's funded by a village if we get on, and that would be determined by when there is an election for voting. Mm -hmm. So, which is two years? Is it? Uh, I don't know. Is there a twenty? The last one. Is it, are we part of the twenty twenty two midterms, or are we going to be twenty twenty four? So. That would be, a, you'd have to set your goal for, you know, being part of an election, not having your own election, because that would be right. yeah. costly. That, that's also uh, the council uh, function. Right. We just want to, so, if, if there was some project, we want to be prepared for that, to know mm -hmm. that at this time is what this project would have to go for. So right. If that was, like I said, this is just sources of funding, this is just throwing them out there. Right, right. right. So private donation would be like if um, you had a group of volunteers and you were going to do a small patch of two, you know, two sections of sidewalk. You can 
receive bags of cement. You know, you can receive uh, the gravel or whatever it is. A labor or not? Um, Does that have to be done by somebody? It could be. Yeah, it can be. Okay. Like village, we have to sign, uh, volunteers have to sign a waiver. And the waiver, I need to see what that is about. But I do know that you can do volunteer work like that with a waiver from the village. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys sign on for the painting? We did. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a copy of it? I don't. But Return. I don't have a copy of it. Okay. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind seeing it. I could ask Judy, but if you have one or can get your hands on it. Yeah, that would be a village. The council will overseeing that. Right. So they would supply that as needed. I think it wasn't as, yeah, it wasn't fabricated for that day. Yeah. Okay. So, might have been. Also, okay. But it's just an idea of what, what would be needed. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's an example. Right. Um, so, business donation. Let's say we were paving or fixing a section in front of design distinctive, distinctive design. We might say, okay, we're invested in this repair. We or ask you for a donation. Sure. So that might be a, you know, more tracking on our part. We have to figure out if the sidewalk is in front of a business that can donate or if we can get donations from just communities. Hit, hit up uh, <laughs> uh, Cooper Standards. Somebody <laughs> want it done. So for right. them to want it done, if they're willing to put in the money, then mm -hmm. all right, then you just move to the top of the list. Right. <laughs> um, grants, uh, I think I would look to Mike or maybe the Addison Township to see if they know of any uh, sources. I did send an email to uh, Oakland County's Complete Streets person, but I haven't heard back from them yet. But I'm just going to start doing some outreach mm -hmm. to see any kind of funding. I think maybe uh, before. Star leaves, maybe Main Street. I could get in touch with someone from the Main Street program in Oakland County and see if there's anything there. Um, the Road Commission of Oakland County, which is the RCOC, the revenue comes from the Michigan Transportation Fund and it depends on the state collecting gas taxes and vehicle registration fees. There could be some money available there, but um, there's a lot of hoops to jump through to get it, but you know we might we might look into that. That's what we should do. Is that written as a grant too? Uh, no, it's actual. It's like when they repair your roads, it would be. That's going to be a crossing issue for them, right? Where it's crossing a road that would be like where we could get the help. Right for like the crosswalk section. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, that's something to make a note of there because right. we do have a few issues with that. Right. Um, it, it, it would be safety issues and crosswalk issues. Uh, the Department of Transportation, I didn't find a lot of information on that. Uh, Complete Streets just referenced it, but I'll ask, I'll ask Mike uh, what he knows about that because he's a wealth of knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, Act 51 money, um, it was, our Act 51 money was re-appropriated this year to help the indigenous, uh, to help do house repairs or something. Right. So it becomes available again in the next calendar year and we'll just try and snag it. So um, that would be what we'd use for the ADA corners. Mm -hmm. And it becomes available. He said it becomes available again in November. You should move that one up underneath the village budget. Okay, <laughs> I will. I will. That's a good you know, idea. If it's money for this project or should be for this project, I think it should be looked at first. Okay. To get that back. Yeah, you get it in November, yes. Okay, I agree. We'll move it up. So, you know, any outreach you guys can do. Between now and then, once we get further along, we might assign things quick, you know, contacts here and there. But um, implementation, this is just uh, what I know can be possible. If you have groups of volunteers, volunteers will sign waivers. The village can accept donations and supplies. Um, DPW, 
They're, they're limited in the project in size and scope. They can do small connector projects, 10 to 20 feet. I couldn't really get a, a nailed down uh, commitment, but that would be, we'd propose that maybe DPW could do this project and then it would have to be approved. Mm -hmm. So commercial project, the bid process, you must get three bids. Um, most contractors won't touch a project for ten to fifteen thousand dollars. It depends on the project. Um, you know, you might get a small repair done. Obviously, if you had a sidewalk and you called the contractor and said, "I want my sidewalk fixed," they'd come. Mm -hmm. But dealing with municipalities, there's a lot of uh, rules and regulations they follow, and they might tend to, you know, hey, it's not a big enough project for us. Gotcha. So. We, we have to go to smaller contractors for smaller projects and a larger company for larger. Um, then pre-planning phase, that's what we're doing now, our current discussions, facilitate uh, options. I put this in here, just facilitate options for bicyclists sharing the road, like the North, the forest, North Forest Street, Rochester Road side is wider to accommodate bicycles. Um, not the best solution for the 14 people who live north, but it's it matches the economy of our village. So, uh, me being one of those 14, Lori's one of those 14, we'd love to see sidewalks go there. And when you're talking about cars and death, it right? Makes it puts in perspective, but it's right. important because you do use it. If it was never used, and right. only 14 people, that makes sense. So the only thing I would I would seek. At, at, on that is uh, as you come into town it gets really dangerous because the wide part becomes half gone because of the the not the gutter and the curb mm -hmm. and the drainage issue so this little piece isn't enough mm -hmm. so if somehow this the sidewalk up to the Porter House, which is the first house back behind uh, the barber shop. Mm -hmm. If that could just be extended a little further, it would improve the safety. Because mm -hmm. then you could ride the sidewalk. And then the picture that I have, which is, it looks pretty bad, bad trail. We need, and I, I'm proposing that we need to send a letter out. He's blocking the sidewalk. With Whatever that well, it's is, foliage it's okay. that's yeah. going through the fence. Yes. yes. Yeah. 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 So, if that, you know, he needs a letter saying, hey, cut your stuff down here. This is an obstruction. Mm -hmm. So, that's something that uh, I guess I, think I should just bring it to Mike's attention. Mike does that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so, that's one of, this is bring to Mike's attention. That, and that's not going to be a one-time thing. That's no, it's continue. a continuous, ongoing thing, yes. So right now, noticing that, I, I need to know if I like. So what would we figure with that stretch of sidewalk? I know that some of them, that um, they had gotten so overgrown that it actually looked like it was only three foot right. wide, but actually it was maybe a four or five foot wide I was section of sidewalk. I was curious where this is. I, I'm assuming because of this box, it's as wide as it visually looks, and the sidewalk isn't stretching to that pole. I think it's a little, it goes a little further. It yeah. does. I think it's over there. Yeah. Are we able to go out with a shovel? And actually, I, we are, get, as long as we tell the village. Oh, okay. We just have to say we're going out there. Because I asked Mike. Yeah, okay. because some of them clearly were. They're maintained. You can see that the sidewalk actually uh -huh. looks wide, right? But in areas that it's that's not, you can see the sidewalk looks oh, really yeah. narrow. There's one that's so, so narrow. narrow. It was yeah. only. I didn't take a picture of that. Oh, you used to Yeah. So, yeah. It got down to. Yeah. I mean, my goodness, look at that. It, it is. Looks like it's a two-foot stretch. Right. Right. It's no, is it? Is it an older person living there? I'd have to talk to Judy. Right. You know, yeah. is it, if there's they're 85 years old, well, like you said, if the, there's a volunteer right. worried. Put the effort in, right? You know what I mean? I mean, my, my kids could do it for volunteer hours right. or something. So, um, this one is. Well, every year there's a clean up day, there's a help. Is that May? Is 
that whenever it happens, add this to the list. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Off, you know, like an annual call. Oh, actually, person. that's a really good idea. Okay. I mean, if they're elderly and they can't get a job. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll take a look at this sidewalk over here because that sidewalk I've done quite a bit. Right. No, if I was in terms of something else on it. And that's the uh, cleanup day yeah. in May. Okay, good idea. All right, so how about a letter to, just like a reminder, when, a newsletter, a newsletter. We haven't had a newsletter go off in a while. If we become one of those uh, line items, it's, you know, just somehow kindly say, everyone, reminder, please. You know, for the beautification I, of our... I actually village. received it from my taxes. That was one of their, you know, this is what the residents are responsible for, shrubs and get rid of trees and all, you know, that was that came out with taxes. So I just got it for several cities in, uh, I guess, July. You know, it just came out. So okay. Why not? Do, do you have, so it's from other villages? Uh, or it's from other cities. Yep. Verbiage. Can sure. you, yeah, tell me that. Um, Newsletter. Do you know if Mike plans on doing a newsletter for the village soon or no? Is there like an annual? I don't. That's the same. Quarterly or there's a. How about bi yearly? <laughs> Twice a year. Maybe bi yearly. Okay. Um, so I'll get that on there. Um, where was I? Yeah, I don't know about this. This current discussion might come off, you know, it's just part of what we're talking about today. So it wouldn't be part of the plan. Oh, the, yeah, if you're planning. Yeah. Yeah, because I actually it's had just, questions in my mind about that, and as if you're talking about a bike lane, I didn't know if there was enough shoulder to accommodate a shoulder and bike lane. Right. That'd have to be explored. And maybe anything that is like discussion that wouldn't actually be part of the draft and the plan would be italicized. Okay, good. I tell that way you kind of know that's not right. It's not going to stay in. It's, it's just results. so I don't forget it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, and and our order might change too. The scope mm -hmm. um, may require trees and brush to be removed. May require sidewalks to go around trees. May require retaining walls and engineering to flatten hills. May require. Uh, may require drainage plans. Plans for hills. So um, Mike told me that if you have a big hill, and that I'd refer to that little di this little diagram mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at the bottom here. If you have a, if you have a hill, it has a, a landing. If you're going down the hill, you go down the slope, then it's a flat landing. Then you go down the slope again, and you have a flat landing. You go down the slope, and you have a flat landing. So it's. Uh, the percentage of the grade that uh, you know an engineering firm would tell us how many That's landings we need. Yeah. Complying with the ADA. Right. Uh, exactly. So um, that was you know one of the plan you know one of the things I just wanted to pass along. Um, so identify problem areas and obstacles. Hills and slope must be to a great incline, suitable for wheelchairs or handicapped scooters. Um, I don't know, you could probably add bikes going too fast if you wanted to, but I didn't know if I wanted to add that or add verbiage to that effect. But uh, less than X over X distance for the slope. I, I don't know if Mike knows that, or if I even need to put that in there. That's why I was like, probably wouldn't put it in there because it might change. Okay. Because you know, of the hit, you don't the know. Goes, yeah. They okay. change codes. So I'll just take that out. I'm just thinking that's going to be our later phase anyway, because we know that those are going to be our most expensive, right? Right. right. Are the ones that right. we're having to deal with the situation. Right. Um, that's going to be engineered. That's going to be a follow code, anyways. Yeah. Right. 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 And that's what you've got to do is meet the ADA requirements, and that's. That should be sums it up right there. Yeah. Right. Um, slopes of less than X grade to meet the incline. So I could just say uh, to meet slopes of less than grade incline suitable for wheelchairs, 
or handicapped scooters to meet ADA requirements. Yeah. Just take all that other stuff out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, utilize slopes with landings. Does that explain it once? Because I've explained it, but that's why I was going to include this diagram. I'd almost just stick with diagrams. Um, exhibit A. I, well, here I called it an incline with landings. Here I called it a slope with landings. What should our verbiage be? It says incline with landings. I made this. Oh, you made it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's actually, I'll pull it from somewhere. Right, no, I made it from scratch. It looks good. It does. Um, so, should we say inclines have probably more. Um, Utilize inclines with landings or just on head or. Well, that has to do with hills or inclines. So, oh, and that's it. It's, I mean, where there's an incline, there's a decline. It depends on which way you're coming from. So. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right. It's a decline. Can you just say non flat? Mm, that's weird. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to find that word. Well, right. right. There's a word we need. Much have I mean to, by using uh, the slopes or the grade incline to meet ADA requirements to cover all of that, whether it is a ramp or there's a hill to go through. Uh -huh. It's still an incline. Slope is be engineered. Slope, it's still slope. Yeah. Slope is up or down. Okay. So it's let's use okay. slope. Slopes with landings. So down here this should say slopes with landings. I mean, you could say incline, decline, but decline seems like the wrong word, doesn't it? Well, like I said, it's just more words. Yeah. yeah. So if it should be okay. utilized landings with slopes. Like, yeah, okay. Okay. Or slope sections. So. Yeah. Utilize landings with sloped sections. You're right. I like that better. Okay. Intersection corners must be ADA compliant. What are, the, what are those corner things called? I call them raised dots, but... I think that's what Mike called the other day, too. Yeah. I'm not sure. It was a... Raised dots. Like there, there was a word that was in... I don't, I don't remember the exact phrase of what they used for that, but it's... It's... It's handy, not, is, is it's not handy. handy. Yes, it is, is it handicapped? Yes, it's how a... What do we call it? Handicapped? A blind person can realize that he's actually at an intersection. With what I'm saying, just with weight raised dots. Are they raised dot platform? Are they raised dot? Well, yeah. it was like ADA compliant landings, or I can't think okay. of it. It was, in a, it was in a document somewhere. I saw yeah. it, but I can't. I can't pull it from my brain right now. We could always go back and edit it and find out what the correct some, word is. Yeah, some can be colored. Some can. Right. As long as it, it, it's a, a surface that can be recognized. Okay. By um, stepping on it, area of, areas of concern. DPW, maintain vegetation. Well, this would be going forward. I don't know if you need to say going forward or uh, maintain vegetation in designated right of ways of proposed sidewalks going forward so that weed vegetation does not grow into trees and bushes during the 10 year project span. So we could say we're going to put some sidewalk here, and in the meantime, a tree could grow. <laughs> yeah, well. So I'm just saying that, you know, maybe yearly uh, recommended the DGPW just snip down or, you know. Yeah, because somebody might allow something to grow, and they're like, no, that's going to be a right. sidewalk. Right, yeah, right, <laughs> right. I mean, a squirrel could just be very, yes. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're right about that. But if we just trim it every year. Year. Yeah, it becomes sure a, a six. No, you know, you're right. That does it does become, become a five hundred dollar problem if you just yeah. let it go for five. Years. Yeah, absolutely. You're right about that. So mm -hmm. I don't know exactly where to put that, but right now I just put it in the air. So the projects now we've got to decide what our priorities are with you know what we want. So what I did was here I said. We wanted to complete a network of sidewalks from east to west and north to south on the two major crossroads 
or maybe you should say from, the two major crossroads, Alamoon and Forest. Um, sidewalks would allow most residents to utilize a safe path to downtown without walking in the roadway. So what, what we should consider is uh, when we did our site survey, we looked at what there was. Sometimes the sidewalk is on one side of the street, sometimes the sidewalk is on the other side of the street. Uh, we should think about uh, crosswalks to continue if we wanted to start in town and go out each direction. Uh, our goal is to get the people from each ends of our town in, right? Mm -hmm. Or back home, out. So if the sidewalk is on one side, maybe we find out where we can put a crosswalk to get to the other side, to complete a section. So um, in order to do it, the, the section from um, Elmwood from the barbershop to the school is complete. Um, we're only interested in repairs if they're l larger than a one inch tall. And I don't know that I've put that in here anywhere. So repairs? I was going to say that DPW comment that you have about vegetation. Uh -huh. Maybe that should be a continued maintenance. So areas of just continued maintenance, areas of concern to continue maintenance. Because that would also cover your one inch gaps if something was to lift in time. Yes. That would be part of continued maintenance. Perfect. So uh, one inch. What do they call it when it's heaving? Or is it just a gap? Well, gaps that separate. Right. Heaving so, it is just trip a hazard. Yeah. One inch trip, let's say trip hazards. Yeah. Trip, one inch trip hazard maintenance. Okay. Uh, I like that. So, um, that being said, with the from the center of the town to the outsides on both of the main roads. And is our proposal only going to be for the main roads? We did do a, a survey on the subdivisions. <clears throat> um, I don't want to exclude those, but you think you compare our, the subdivisions we have, the west side of town, the southwest side of town has basically no sidewalks in that subdivision, except near the church. There's a sidewalk that leads from Rochester Road to the church. I guess you could say, within all the roads in that square of Elmwood, you know, Elmwood North, Elmwood North, Elmwood East and West Forest, North and South, that would cover all that subdivision, you know, any roads that were in there. Uh, if there were some. If we want to lay out a, a, an idea, between our north and south, east and west main connection. But then to have that completed by say by a year time. We could do it that way. Um, so it's not because it's gonna take a little while to get some of that stuff done. Mm -hmm. The connection is really not shouldn't be too bad, but it's gonna take some time, especially when you don't have the money. But right. I think that's probably to me that would be the biggest focus to start off with. It make it probably the uh, most impact. Mm -hmm. Well, um, the uh, the the main roads I think should be our concentration. Maybe we should just um, point out to the village certain areas for repair, just for their normal repair that they might already have on the docket. So I think in those in those streets it was really just a couple spots that were like an ADA right for disconnect, red just disconnections uh -huh. or effect or act fifty one. So what's the what's the blue color? Blue is potential sidewalks. Yeah. Okay. And is there any reason okay, we could go in that way, why not go the other way too? You know what I mean? You have the on uh, South Street. You have some. I mean, the right. division is the only one that doesn't have the east-west sidewalks. Mm -hmm. 
So I mean, all really all of those quadrants, you know, every every section in there is a potential sidewalk. Right. You know, it's, it's something that could potentially. Right. Happen. And like I said, that might be half the thing. Yeah. <laughs> this green, okay, South Street. I mean, like Whitehead. Yeah, Whitehead. The site, the sidewalk goes to the Pollyann Trail. It's just disconnected at the Pollyann Trail, but you can walk. Is it, but is it paved? It's yeah, it's a sidewalk. Really? Sidewalk. That's the sidewalk there. Yep. How, what's its condition? There. I don't know that I rode that section. Ends at four, five, seven, one. How short of the trail is it? Is that like it goes down and go through some? Yeah, there's. I can see you're not gonna get into the trail. I don't think you're gonna get into the trail. There's like a three inch ditch that's there. That's you know. Yeah. From West Street, I'd go from there. There is a right. Open so we, right. should you really just kind of end it a little shorter than we'll that? Okay, so cut that. And that's what I was gonna ask you. Is, can we get a new map? So I'm gonna start this over. Again. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> then I can take that off. Cut that section off. Right okay. There, so that it doesn't imply that it makes it all the way to the trail. Okay, but you said you can get through there on West Street, but there's no sidewalk. On West Street, you can, correct, but there is not a sidewalk. Okay. Nor a road, it's grass. Because this. I'm not even sure if it's official. I suppose this drawing is wrong because it shows that the street goes right to the Pollyann Trail. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, we should correct that? Or is that not to part? It doesn't. It yeah, should be grass. I don't know if it's somebody's private property. Or right. Just, I should. We should. And the road line. does kind of continue almost. Okay. It should just sort of end yes. before it gets to there. Gets there. I think both of those streets should okay. end. Okay. All right. So our scope so far is just to uh, do the main roads and and notify the village of the data that we got from our survey, maybe? I think well, that's a start. But I also like the idea of the fact that we might be able to tap some funds for the safe crossing areas where we have a chunk of sidewalk and then all of a sudden it stops and then it continues on the other side of the road. And I know we all had conversations about that might be, you know, we really do need it safe for the kids to be able to cross. Right. That would be a, a spot for a crossing. I'm wondering if that's something that maybe I could explore a little bit and see what's available. If there's anything even available that could be helpful as far as funding for something like that, for a safe crossing for the kids. Mm -hmm. Up where that the might sidewalk be, ends. Right, where, where, it, yep, mm -hmm. where it goes and it stops and it crosses Does over the there. Does the bus stop at the top of the hill at Rosie Court? The bus stops in Rosie Court. It goes in. It goes in. It's the mm -hmm. first house. Okay. Um, 71 and it also stops at 167 East or because they're home. they're young kids that's the elementary buses yeah okay. the middle school bus stops at Whitehead and Elmwood. okay do kids cross my to go to, to go to LMS yeah for okay. middle school she does okay so, so if there was because I, I went up there today um, I don't know it, the, where the 33 or 30 foot line is near your house. And I, I think I'm here, I, want, I needed the address of your, with, with the, the crosswalk near the top of the hill, where it meets Rosie Court, is it adjacent to your property or is it in the next piece next of property? House. Yeah. So I would have to say north of your address. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. needed your address. 205 is mine. 205, I had 157. Is that right? Oh yeah, she's got it right here. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, there it is, press over options, right there. Okay. So, so um, north of, how, how, about how far would, I didn't have a tape measure, uh, and maybe that's something we need to measure, is between, um, at the hill, 400 feet from a sight line where the butt, where the bus, I need to know exactly where that bus stops. So the bus stops at 167, right in front of 167. That's the elementary bus. The other, when it goes into Rosie Court to pick up all these guys, it actually just stops right here, right? Right at Rosie Court and Rosie, Rosie Drive and Rosie Court. It turns around oh, right okay. there. Okay, that they, so they it turn around. It doesn't there. pick up on Elmwood for Rosie. Okay. 
that actually goes into Rosie Drive at Rosie. So this, where the sidewalk ends, is it? I think it's okay to put the crosswalk right where that sidewalk ends. I think it is flat right there. That would be. You're at the top of the hill. You're still at the crest. And then you're, I don't know that that hill was enough that you can't see. Right. Um, the next hill up. Right, it's 400 feet. So Maybe that's where the cross, that's where I think the so cross is. As long as there's a, a line of sight for somebody at the top of the hill to go 400 feet. Right. They the can't stop short go there. It can't be anything less. Right. It can't be less than 400 feet. I mean, really, they could probably cross here. And that's at, between mine at 205 and where that red line starts. For okay. uh -huh. It's the goal is to join the two sidewalks. Yeah. So if we have to extend it um, into well, this long sliver property, and those are both vacant, right? Um, this, oh, this one right here? No, this way. These long ones. Nope, those are both occupied. Uh, Bob Zerwick is the one on the right, and yeah. Bill is the one on the left. That's the, oh, it backs up to me. Yes, it goes back up to you. And actually, it's, it's just scrub that's there. And also keep in mind, too, this blue line is all potential. I have no sidewalk. Right. Sidewalks aren't until the White House at 114 and Rosie Court, which is so Right. Well, I think our proposal should be a sidewalk going um, probably across mine. Pat, north of where where it parallels to Rosie Court sidewalk, so it would start there, so that you can cross. So you can cross right. Here. Yes. Right at the right at Bills. Yes. It's just the corner doors. Yes. And come across. And then yeah. sidewalk all the way to town. You could do that because this this is just actually there's nothing there. It's it, they have a little bit of crack. It's a little bit cement already. I mean it's. Where did you park there? Distinctive design. Well, distinctive design. We would start north and the west of distinctive design. So their sidewalk, you know, maybe we make, make, make them, they just got some, there's some cement and then there's a little bit of tar patching going on. It could be cleaner, but it could be just left yes. as it is. It is sidewalk. Yes, it is. So, um, Sometimes they're blocking it, but... What, yeah, and the only, I think the only one we want to avoid was between where I have the red dot uh -huh. and the bus stop. It's the only spot that we want to completely avoid. On the... On the north side. North of the side. Road. That's the... That's the, 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 that's, that's yeah, the that's impossible spot. Right. Okay. So there is some engineering that would have to happen near yeah. the Shangri-La house. Right. <laughs> because it does slow down. But it's, more, it's less expensive than... Well, there's the other side. side. You could actually do it. There's room on the other right. side. You're getting into someone's fence and property, and you're, you're getting close to the house. And the you're hill. Earth. Yeah, and it's it's almost undoable. It, it's yeah. it it would be extraordinary expense on that side. Yes. So would we put another crosswalk at? Is that West Street or which one is this short W one? I think that is West. Um, yeah. Yes. So, Which one are you from here? Um, oh, sure. well, see, if we're trying to, if our goal is to get from here to here, mm -hmm. we have to have a crosswalk here, and we have to have a crosswalk here. Right. To return, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. it's not perfect, and odds are you can't have just one. I mean, if we, we have to have two. We have yeah. two. <clears throat> I mean, people are going to do it now anyway, so you can make it safer. Um, the whether it's a prescribed crosswalk that's official or if it's just by default, it it would happen. Mm -hmm. Or we just continue the sidewalk all the way to distinctive design, which isn't the worst. I I would say just go from town straight up if we can. You know, just because there's that sidewalk there. Doesn't mean we can't improve it by making it contiguous on one side. It would be the, the greatest achievement <laughs> because it, it, it covers that subdivision that has all those people in it mm -hmm. to get to town. Yeah, they can take South Street and go the other way, but if there's uh, blue. Well, there's also a party store there. They're going to, they have a reason to walk there. 
Right. You know, that it's going from South Street, I mean, yeah, I guess you get to the party store. But I don't know that the crosswalk would be uh, legally feasible there because of the hill. It means it's right before the hill. Right. I don't know if that probably there could gone. be some Department of Transportation rules against that site. So it might actually have to be a continuous that's to the safety design. And that's something yep. we have to further find out. And I'll, I would extend the blue line right there. Yep. I would extend the blue line there yep. as our proposal because of the hill and two crosswalks to get, it's not optimum. Yep. Okay. It's not a, a, a good flow of, and it's only one, two, three, four, six, five, six, six houses of sidewalk. It's not, and they're small lots, 60 foot. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a huge expenditure. The only difficult spot is in front of the plumber's house and in front of Shangri-La. One's high and the other one's low. Right. So there will be some stepping down going there. But it's basically feasible. manageable. Yeah, yeah, feasible. So that's one project. Uh, that would be, we'll have to prioritize. Yes, we'll we consider, consider, right, as yeah. we work through this. So, so I'm going to call this a just proposal A, just so I can kind of remember which one we talked to in what order. All right, we'll talk about A then. We'll call that one A, just for our purpose of discussion. So we'll just like watch our time. Okay. Um, where was I on my sheet here? Connect letter. Uh, so this was. I put on here, connect the sidewalk to Leonard Market from northbound Rochester Road, Forest West side of the road. This would need to be a large engineered study, obstacles, tree, large hill, required retaining wall, slope sidewalk with landings, costly, may not be feasible. At this time, I don't know how to, uh, how, how do we decide which side of the street we conquer as our going north version. I guess we could call them. I wouldn't put it, it may not be feasible because that's getting up a little. Too soon, yeah. Okay. I'll take off that if we leave this so in at all. Maybe cost prohibitive. Gotcha. Yes, that allows you to quote. We did talk about priorities in doing phases, and I had a couple of them. Like, it looks like some of the the disconnected spots were kind of a priority one. Okay, let me get the W to do that. So, so on, on, if you go to the next page, we have to go back because I don't want to lose what we've got here. But we can, I can put phase one fall, first year. Uh, I already asked Mike, can we go to the uh, Pollyann Trail where it ends and the Pollyann right. Trail? If, we, as a group in the DPW, that was one. we can do that this fall. Right. So that, um, if we, I, I was there today, and I was picking it, I shoved a pencil down. I think there's another whole section under the grass. So is it just on the ground? Yes. I think there's more sidewalk. I, I was going, I, so I got a foot in, and it was still sidewalk. So we need to go down there. It's that really loose. Space. A flat space. Kind of just scrape up the So I was, not, I was going to yeah. do that, but I kind of ran out of time today. But we, if we want to do part one and part two, we can go there uh, and ask Mike, can I vegetation kill the grass? And then, you know, but if it's so easy to lift up, then vegetation kill. There's limestone and gravel available for us to oh. just dig it. We can just put, and we can connect it ourselves. Temporarily, if we want to pave it, that could be in the future. But right now, we could start, and that could be our like pilot program. Well, yes, yeah. so I'm all in for that. I would prefer not to use any kind of pesticide. I would prefer to just I'd use use my physical Shall manual okay. labor myself and do it. It doesn't um, look like it's not. Well, it's like well, that it can't be thick, and then right. even if you kill it, you're still leaving the dirt there for. So true. Is there a yeah. product you can put down like a plastic that degrades that would, if you didn't dig out between? I think somebody could trip on it. They could be a trip hazard. Or 
If it was covered with the limestone, though. Oh. Well, you'd be digging it out. You have to just dig. Just do the limestone, like you said. Okay. It's... And then, would, depending on uh, how that how that is, would we want to pave it, or just go ahead and just make it be limestone? It's about it's about ten feet right now. We're, we're all talking about um, the picture is. So this is the disconnected between the polyan, north of the polyan, on Rochester Road, on Forest Road. Yeah, it's one of the pictures. It's but if we're trying to become ADA compliant, then the last one probably doesn't really... No, it's just a well, maybe a temporary fix to maybe would, right, to move that up the priority line right, that yeah. could be done. Um, Fall I didn't print it. Uh, it's uh, um, hold on here. I did take a picture of it the other day. It's about eight feet, eight to ten feet. Now that I said went there, like one more feet. It's just about eight feet. They have lime, you know, the Polyan Trail is ADA compliant and it's limestone. So why wouldn't fall? It wouldn't be okay. dots, okay. but I gotcha. I think that it still qualifies because it's not really an intersection with a road; it's an intersection with a trail. I don't know. Okay. But I don't know. That was just like a good little gesture. It's let's start somewhere, and that would be our false start point. I don't know. I think it's a good idea. It's eight feet, so that's priority one. So, small projects, connect Leonard sidewalk to the Polyan Trail on the west side of Rochester. Forest, does Forest have one arm? Yes, correct. Okay. Uh, road, fall of 2021, room six feet of grass, which really should say about eight, because <laughs> I went there. Uh, install limestone. Summer of 22, four 10 foot connector section of cement sidewalk. If we don't think it's needed, I don't know. You know, how, how do you decide? UPW and Planning Commission and volunteers with site laborers can do that. That's one project that we could get done. Right. So do we decide by trying the limestone to see if it's good enough, or do we actually commit to the concrete or use the concrete somewhere else? If it's if it's ADA compliant, then I guess that's a question. Is, is limestone ADA compliant? Because I know, like you said, the Polyan Trail is. Right. But is that section technically right. it's ADA a trail. compliant? Or is okay. it still trail just, not a trail? I guess we can try to find that out. It takes it out of the municipality in a way. So if you're, it, right. it could potentially not be, it'd be a nice way to get a quick fix done and also live it for a little while just right. for the fact that it kind of matches with the character of leading into the trail where it's all kind of the same right where it wouldn't look weird you put it somewhere right. else it's just not going to look right right um but at well, least it kind of works and now that they repaired the sidewalk in front of the yellow mm -hmm. gingerbread house that's up behind uh the party store they took out a heaved piece of concrete that was damaged by roots and they put limestone in oh okay. so that was their fix. I guess that was that. How long ago do you think they did that? This year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, last year. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. In the last fall and okay. this year. I guess that answers the question. All right. So it just depends on what do we want to do. Do we want to do it as a two-part thing and just see how it is, or just want to decide to put ground there? Can we pose it to the village council and ask them how they feel about that? Um, you know what their thoughts are on it. I mean, I personally myself, I would say go with the limestone just because it, you're leading into the trail anyway. I can think yeah. of other places I would use the money. I think so too. to do a I proper sidewalk. Just... Um, and yes, you know, the, like I said, the limestone next to the church where it's disconnected. Well, that looks funny. It's it does right. cement, cement, but this is correct cement going up to a trail, which is something right. else. So, like I said, save the money. Put the yeah, limestone put down. it right. Okay. Right. Um, That's, yeah. So take off the poor 10 foot section. We'll just go with the, the limestone there. Okay. So I have to go back a page now. We, we jumped a little bit ahead, but it's just the organization of the document, that's all. Um, if, if we approach this, it, it's, it'll be a time thing. Like, 
which projects go where and when, or it can be a directional goal. You know, it depends on if you want to get millage to get a big project, or we wait to collect funds year after year to get it to get the project done. Like if we're on the budget to, you know, get the money each year, but we don't spend it until we gather it. I don't know if that's an option. Um, Should all of these dots and lines maybe have a reference number to them? That way we can, when you're talking, you know, yes, probably. Um, probably. You can just say, you know, phase one reference yeah. 23, you know, reference 24, and you can see it on the map. But it's maybe we save one. these maps as they are as the study and then the proposal. Kind of. Yeah. It just makes things clearer when you're. Talking. Comparing no, to that is yes. that's a good point. Right. I was thinking even just to have two sheets that were legal pages. That way we wouldn't have to kind of try to match up right. and map a little bit. But so just make it one, no, but this was great that you did this, and I know that was a ton of effort. No, um, no, getting that I done. I also but, have to do it over again and clean it up because mm -hmm. it, it is there's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. don't change it yet. No, yeah. I won't. Yeah, I was just say like. I mean, like, should, should we make it one page so that it's one flat piece and people aren't confused by just typing it together? Just, I think it'd be too small. I'm afraid it's too No, not, not making it, making it this size. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Okay. It's just All submitted right. as like right. an architectural drawing. I understand. Because it's like, my eyes are decorated. Do you have so. the ability to print that large? Um, or do we just have to go staples and have it printed? Well, I have a place that can do it. Well, once I put it together, you can just copy it at, you know, Kinko. Kinko. So I, this is my forte. I can, what? You have this on a, a file format? Well, they're just, um, the master plan, too. Can you pull right. up one of the master plan oh, pages? Okay. Could just be made. Bigger. That's what these are. Okay. That, oh, I, I made these. I got it. Yeah. So, um, we can get it all on one file. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, reference each one, each. Each line or dot would have a number. That way, it can be referenced. Because you, you know, you may be looking at going, okay, let's do yeah. 14, 28, and 72 in this project. That's really good idea. And then okay. that'd be really helpful. All right, we'll chunk yeah. it for sure. All right, we'll we'll get the verbiage first, and then we'll apply it somehow with the map. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, the north, south, east, west line. Yes. Would be great too. You know, just well, a little compass rose or something on there. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I guess we all know it's too it small. Is. We don't know what the north is. Well, <laughs> you no, know, but like I said, I did make. Oh, you did? No, oh. I redid this last time. I put oh, the corners there so it was easier oh, for me to see. Yeah. Okay. But when they're all on one page, then it'll, it'll physically be there. Yeah. Okay. You're right. It'll work. So. Okay, um, extend northbound sidewalk on the east side of Forest, north of Elmwood, just past the Porter Homestead, which I don't have their address. Maybe it's on your map. I doubt it. No, I don't think that's um, the problem is the incline, and I think the house there has a berm and a fence. in front of it and just paint more of the road. I don't know. I just feel that that needs to be safer. Um, reason to extend the shoulder becomes very narrow here because of drainage in the curb. And did I take a photo? I don't think I did. So I need a, that's why I put the photo. Uh, That's a problem area. I, I know in some, like in the corner of town where we had rocks and then you guys paved it, mm -hmm. that could be a solution, just add a little more pavement to the curb, but I don't know if that creates a drainage issue. Mm -hmm. uh, gotcha. You mean over right next to the market? Uh, on the other side. Oh, oh, gotcha. Going north. Where there's too much vegetation. Gotcha. Right, right. Because if you just got the sidewalk just to the top of the hill, it becomes wider again. That bike trail, it's because of the drainage ditch. It's not safe there at all. You have to ride clearly in the road. You're not... And on the traffic. 
Yeah, in and a place. corner where they're stop yeah, and go. Stop and go. It, it's that's a real problem area. So uh, and I know it's not going to be popular with that poor house that's so close to the road there. But the other side of the street is impossible to pave too. Impossible. I mean, like really, you know, really, like I'm impossible. impossible. Yeah, it's just past here. Yeah. yeah, I'll take another photo of that and include that in here. If you know, if it just means a sidewalk that's not in the normal place a sidewalk is, it's closer to the road. That does happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I saw that it happened further down. Uh, on the east side of the street, the sidewalk takes a jog. Mm -hmm. Actually, at one driveway, it takes a jog goes yeah. closer. So yeah. mm -hmm. um, still makes it, safe it would only be off. one or two lots to get it past the danger point. It would extend up the hill past this to the flat. To the flat. Back to the flat. Right. And then you could cross, if you wanted to, if you were one of those residents, because then you can't cross and below the hill because no one will see you. Correct. And it, it, it may not be where a real crosswalk could go, but keep residents can cross there. Is that South Street? No. It's East. What yeah, is it right by south. North? And well, I'm North. Uh, north What's the center? The center street. There's sidewalk on the other side for those residents, a couple residents to get there. Yeah. But the other. The people who need to go further can go on the wide bike lane. Gotcha. So if it's a safety issue, I think that those two houses need something. Well, and like you said, you have one, two, three. The third one has three young boys. Oh, okay. Who use who walk to school down the, to daily? The Every day, there's there's two boys now. One's in middle school, but they walk to school daily. So. They could probably benefit from not walking across the grass or snow in the wintertime. And that's Granted, on the east and side? That's on the east house. side, yeah. In front, uh, there's like a white house. Uh, the first house is grandma. Oh, with the, the, second with house the, is mom the, the grabbing the rails, yeah. the, the trees and stuff? Three okay. boys. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they would benefit for sure okay. from having a, a sidewalk to be on. So would it need to go, I'd have to look again, would it need to go to their house? Or uh, that might. I mean, is flat. it over the top of the hill? I think or? they're flat. It's, right it's either two yeah. lots or three lots. It would be safer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For young children. <laughs> okay, so the next would be um, continue sidewalk westbound on Elmwood on the south side of the street. No significant tree obstacles. One slight tree to bend around. One or two small shrubs. Less obstacles than the north side of the road. Except I didn't put that, the, that it was a hill. So what, how should I word the hill? Oh, that's in, it, it's in the next sentence. New sidewalk from distinctive design to top of the hill on the south side of Elmwood. Begins at the west edge of distinctive design property line and continues to address, uh, to oh, north of address 205. Yes, it's 205. It, or it is? Mine is 205, but north, eventually okay. you want to go further. Continues Fine. north. I don't know if there's any. There's still residents up there. Um, well, it would it connects to Rosie Court, so it's the 14 houses. At that point, yes. At that point, we could cross. Right. Uh, and add, add a crosswalk. Create a crosswalk across Elmwood at the top of the hill near where the this near where the school bus stops. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. So I should take off, somehow those two paragraphs should become one. Mm -hmm. So we sign up from distinctive design to the top of the hill on the south side of Elmwood. Uh, then I could just say no significant tree obstacles, one slight tree to bend around one or two small shrubs, less obstacles than the north side of the road. Uh, Begins at the west edge of distinctive design property line and continues to north of Andrews 205. Create a crosswalk across from Elmwood to the top of the hill near where the school bus stops. The only thing that needs to be added here that it needs it needs the ramp slope hill 
landing thing. I, I said no significant obstacle, tree obstacles, but the obstacle is there's a slight hill and, and a depression that would have to be filled. Yeah, fall, yeah the, the road falls off. Right. right. Where you want a sidewalk, if there's nothing, it, it would have to be brought up to. Level. I think you would have to bring in some fill there. Yeah. So <laughs> technically, they could take the, the the one guy has a little bit of a burn. It's extra. Yes. If he would cooperate, I don't know what the laws are about taking dirt here and moving it there. It's right of way. That dirt can fill that hole. There is an easement that, that the village can work with on that. It's uh, 15 feet from center or something? 30, I thought it was 33 feet from the center, but it might be 30. I might keep saying 30, but I think it's 33. Over. Sure. I, I, well, I, mean, I can't think of what it is, but there is an easement where Yes, it, it doesn't matter. I'll put the hill language in that paragraph. I think I got what I want to change that. Did it sound right when I read it? Like well, you said, these are, yes. It's word. They're, they're word, yes. Yeah, well, I'll You've read it. Paper. That's huge. Right. Um, we might just need to maybe bullet these or A, B, C, these or something like that, too. Right. It's just connect them from each other. Right. Um, School. So even school buses is part of that too. Right, it is. School buses need a sight line of 400 feet when stopping on hills for, I should say, for line of sight. Oh, I already said, need sight, need sight line. It should be line of sight. Well, school buses need a line of sight. A 400 feet when stopping on hills, and at this point, and at this point, coincides with the end of the sidewalk in front of the Mosey Court subdivision. Providing safe access to school bus. Perfect. Okay. There are limited brush obstacles and only one berm hill to contend with. So that's still part of it. Yeah, that's all part of like one section. So somehow we'll, I'll put that together as a section. Um, that's a significant project, but I think that project benefits the village a lot. For that whole subdivision over there, all of the people up there, and Rosie Court. That is a high impact for the village in terms of the number of residents that it's also Derby would take place, so we give residents a place to go that was not in the street. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't know if, I don't know if that goes in a thing, but that is a plus. <laughs> um, so, volunteer project clean up and trim vegetation to uncover historic stairs behind Leonard Market. Goal is to increase the walking safety because the complete streets isn't only for bike paths or I mean, I, I think of it always because I'm always coming, it's too far for me to walk. Sure. I'm always riding a bike. So, um, in terms of, you know, maybe the, we talked about, yeah, you can ride your bike and you go off a cliff, but it's still a sidewalk. Mm -hmm. And I, I did take a picture of that. There's rocks showing somewhere. That one. I don't know what it looks like, but it, I don't think it went down the side. I think it came out to the street. Do you, you don't you remember it? I do remember seeing it, yes. Because there's these rocks. There used to be a handrail there, too. There was? Like a metal yes. pipe? Metal pipe, yeah. Metal. Really? That's awesome. So you think it went it went towards the party store and not towards the street? The party store. Okay, well there's something there. As yeah. I've seen it. I don't, like I'm not kind of curious myself. Thing. I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the look at it. <laughs> but, I just put that in here because it was something that we mentioned that during our, you know, mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have to stay. I just again, just it's a word. I tell I just, right. I tell us. Forgot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, then I put myself a note here. What about repairing sidewalks or new connectors in subdivision by Leonard Elementary? And that's the side sub and. Um, I guess we decided to just 
List, let's list them as maintenance. Yeah. Okay. Well, the sidewalk in front of the school, they pretty much took care of all that. Okay. The old school or the new school? The elementary. The old section. Because they, they removed the whole front, front porch facade. Yeah. I didn't go look at it yet. And replaced it all the way off the street. Okay. I'll so we'll check they, that out. They did have work. some more that was good. It was nice. It got you not cut across the grass. Yeah. I think they, if I remember right, they covered all the way to their fence line heading uh, west. Yeah. Okay. So, so good. then part of all of this is we got to prioritize our projects, and that's uh, coming up. But we mentioned the street signs, and um, although it's not part of a sidewalk plan, I think somehow we should bring it to the attention of the village that some of the streets are missing signs. So I don't think that that would be even. Uh, a large expense in terms of it's someone would like just need to be painted. Well, someone were missing. Someone would put that enough. So I don't know how if we make it it's just a, a this this could be a separate from the sidewalk plan altogether. This could just be a we've just a one sheet of paper that says these More are the up. streets that need signs and More looks as right. This is a planning uh, commission concern. And I would take it out of this plan and put it as a separate um, thing that we've noticed in bus request. request. Oh, sure. So I'll separate that out and figure out of which signs we're missing and what we might want to do. Yeah. So you can probably get in because it's sidewalks, it's getting places and people don't need to know the signage. The streets so that are around and where it in. I didn't know if it would fall into a different part of the budget. It was my thought was just that if we have a certain I'll, appropriation I'll ask my for that, yeah. you know, I don't know where that falls in. Right. It's it not could. ADA, it's not. Right. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but I do. Just look at that one and say we'll take care of that one. Right. Right. Okay. Um, so um, I didn't write up the section for the park. I didn't write a verbiage paragraph for um, connecting the village from the center of town going south. Mm -hmm. um, we biked past through there, and there's only a, it, it would be value added to connect to, I know it's a priority to connect to the nature park, and it would be connecting. Uh, the village to at least the Pollyan Trail would get you, uh, but we might as well go the whole way. There's one tree in the way, and it is this one. Three, two, three. 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 It's uh, that big, giant. Um, one that was struck by lightning. Right. Mm -hmm. But I know I did notice that down on that path, this sidewalk is on a diagonal, and here. Let's, I'm just going to pick a number. Let's say it's 8 feet. Further down, it's 12. So that sidewalk is going a little crooked mm -hmm. to the road. Mm -hmm. So we can go back the other way to get around that tree. See, the, well, it depends on the angle that you take it. If you're yeah, going to go straight, how see, how it, is, see how it looks like it would go right. that way? If you go between this tree right here. No, I see that. I was just going around yeah. township earlier today. Mm -hmm. Probably Probably really 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 that's easy. exactly what they it's the craziest looking thing It's still on season, I think. Job, job, job. It's a job, 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 yeah. job, job. It just keeps going. It is such a convoluted like mishmash of sidewalk that just keeps, you know, it is going yeah. around all kinds of things. They have little yeah. trees, fire hydrants. And it's funny to see that stuff when the trees are now long gone and you're looking at it going, clearly it, that the should be fixed. Yeah, right. that should be fixed. I mean, you know, the thing of it is you can still, you know, bike down the road to get to the bike path. It's just very... You just have to pay attention. Um, get kind of goofy, kind of wonky, but you know. Then again, if that would get the job done, it's only one if it could, I'm just kind of curious of how far the setback is on that from the street. Um, in terms of, you know, do we do we call out like huge weird areas like this? Yes. You know, it's like do we tackle some of those. I don't know if you want to pay. Well, is that part of the village system? It could be part of the current maintenance. It's just they oh, they finished. Current? 
Yeah, that's you know, today. And that too. Wow. Right. Like, like, that should be fixed. That should be fixed. Right. Like this one. Well, and you may like this one you may want to check. Mike already he may already have that on a plan. Okay. You know, all the care plans. Right. Because that's just that's why I just wanted to I, I can with what we've got yeah. now, I can meet with Mike and we can I can make more comments. Yeah. And then find out let's pick his brain. Right. right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what is he already planning? That's maintenance. You know, that's, if you're in, that's you know, yeah, maintenance, and, and, yeah. that's a maintenance, and that's a DPW. Right. Um, I mean, yes, we could, I mean, right now we could crack fill those. Right. We could move on with one. Um, oh, this is, this would be the sidewalk that connects the village to, like, the fire station in the park. Yeah. Yeah. Because there is some. That was a big project. It's, it's all flat. I mean, actually, that project to connect the village, to connect the, to the nature park, is flatter. It would be cheaper, but it wouldn't benefit the kids that are still growing up yet. Because they're at the bus stop. and that, That's a daily thing for them. This is um, getting there. Yeah, you can still get to it through Pollyan Trail. You know? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know, in terms of priority, and I guess you're right, right now in the nature park, I don't see myself going there because I would have to walk. Right. Or bike. Right. You know, you're not going to... There's no place to park. Well, you don't... There's no, no place, place to park. You, 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 exactly. you, you can park on the grass, you know, though. And that's where you kind of like, you can park on the grass, but do you want to encourage people to do that? Right. You know, and rocks and, we were supposed to have put the limestone in already. Oh, I got you. I was on the park committee for a while. <laughs> I got you. Well, yeah. I started with somebody say if we just get 48 or 42.85 to just bubble. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> yes. You know, the side door on it is open. Yep. Well, can you just walk in? I mean, I, I'm yes. not a trespasser. Mike has. Walk Mike right has, in. No, Mike has, has multiple times closed that door. He has Why secured that door. In? I'm sure somebody's going in and messing with lines. They go up, they go down. If you look, they're always different. Somebody's going in there. Messing with lines. Somebody's messing with the inside of that house. It's going to be trash. Uh -oh. I guarantee it. Hmm. Somebody's going to get though, because that door, it's not, it can't be critters. There's, that door is constantly open, and I know Mike is constantly going over there closing. Okay. And he has actually secured it to my knowledge, too. Like, he's, he's trying. Mm -hmm. He's trying to keep us secure. It's just not safe. Okay, that's sad. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so I need to write up uh, what what do we think as a, a planning commission about the priority of um, wh which segment is more priority the segment going west or the segment going south. To the south to the park or west to Rosie Court? And, and how do we decide which one comes first? It seems like there's more kids in the Rosie Park, Rosie Court area. So make yeah, that. How many, how many kids usually get, get on the bus in the morning and off in the afternoons and stuff? Um, Roughly. I think my daughter said for, for middle school, high school, it was about five that stayed that were at Whitehead. It's really just for the 167 stop, it's my two now and two next door. Um, so just four at that stop. And then for Rosie, it may just be three, technically, one buses and two walk. Sometimes I don't think it busted or not. So. so they have the option of taking the bus, but they walk instead? Yeah, I think she just likes to walk the dog in the morning, so they just walk in. Ah, uh, gotcha. Do walk they in. bus home, though? That I don't know. I don't think they ever paid attention. I don't know if it was every day either, but I think they could, they can be bussed in. So no, no one knows like the bus stops on uh, southbound Rochester. Yeah, yeah I can't speak to those ones. Those I don't know. Yeah, you could possibly um, get a hold of the, the school bus transportation around. and ask them, say specifically, in the village of Leonard. I think they do have a whole list of stops. Yeah, it's on. It's on there, but it doesn't tell you how many kids. It tells you which stops. Correct. Yeah. yeah. But, but like you said, the garage might be able to tell. 
tell you, the garage is not in here. I suppose you could ride the bus for fun. <laughs> I don't know. We could take a we could take a vote. Uh, which one to prioritize? Uh, our recommendation could be to the village council. They could switch it as if I it's. We have to have costs for both of them, right? Even though even consider them, I mean, it's right. going to just be folded. Even estimated. Even if we know, okay, as you know, cement is X amount of dollars, and mm -hmm. here's the estimated cost. Okay. Um, to prioritize those. I, I do have a note for maintenance, and for maintenance would be our phase one. Phase two is all the ADA concerns, and then three was the disconnects, which was the phase one. From the previous meeting. Mm -hmm. I have a note for proposed priority is phase two, which would be connecting southbound. Forest from division to park. That was the park forest. That was the park. Yeah. In front of the park. But stopping at division? No, starting at starting division. division because there's to the a park. sidewalk. Yep. From. But not continuing past the park. No, that was just became potential, which we may have talked about it. But, uh, that could be, like, based on. If it's ten thousand dollars and we need to bump up a quote and right. add it, okay. But I would call that the park, like the and like said, that's where it comes in handy. Just giving it a number, right, right. There we can just call it number seventy-two. Right. Okay. Um, Maintenance might, the, within the priorities, the maintenance might fall under things that Mike already has scheduled. So I need to find out where there's the overlap. Right. So the ADA, um, we'd have to find out about the funding for that. Again, we put that as a priority because we had the funding and it won't become available again until November. So it wouldn't be a, a next year, and I'd have to see what the limits are on that. And then you have the disconnects. The disconnects is where we're at now. Right. Okay. okay. Uh, I would say I agree, I agree with that. I, we just need to decide which one's more important, Rosie Court or the Nature Park. So I I like Rosie Court. I do see people walking, uh, walking dogs, jogging, biking. Right. I mean, there's a lot. There is a lot of foot traffic right across town. And I never see anyone on the forest. Well, I don't. It's a main road. You right. not. Right. You're trying to stay away from it yourself. Right. I, you're right. <laughs> right. Because of the dangers. And again, we do it when we want to, but, but it's, uncom it's, it's uncomfortable. I get horseback riders, right. you know. I, you right. You get walkers and joggers. And okay. So I think that that's a more traveled yeah. by foot. Yes. Rosa Court. Go yeah. ahead, Rosa Court. Yeah. 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 West Allen. Right. Okay, so that would be like a priority one and then nature be two. Gotcha. I would say that the Porter House thing would be maybe three. I don't know. I, in terms of the larger costly projects, the little projects can be like interspersed in there. Yeah. Like, you know, is this an ADA? You know, this weird sidewalk that just in front of the this building here. Yeah. Just yeah. It just it turns the corner. It just right. yes, it doesn't really connect it. Because I think they were planning on the ADA putting it there. Mm -hmm. As they oh, okay. ADA. Mm -hmm. So maintenance, maintenance. This was, you know, maintenance, tell people to edge their stuff. This one. Is this your North Street? This is yours, I think. Is that North Street? That looks like it from here. No, because no, it doesn't have that. Uh, oh, here it is. That. That. Yes. Okay. That's it. So that's uh, a village, maybe. I don't even know if that is your road paved or not paved. It's unpaved. Unpaved. Um. You know how much you pass it on? Is that? 
how much of a I mean, at that point, it's a sidewalk and nowhere. I, I it's know. not paved, and there's nothing after. It, it goes to me. That would be like not a. It doesn't go north. It doesn't go any farther than that. that. This is where it ends, and then right. that's at the gravel road. Then nothing. That one. I mean, I, mean, to, to, I was connected to North Street. Oh yeah. Yep. Would that's probably be one of those projects where because that that rain under there. Right. Or what do you think about limestone? Like we talked about for some of those random areas where basically it's where the sidewalk ends, it's attaching right to the limestone. It's all just basically some kind of aggregate anyway right here. Is that like a an interim it, it limestone? Is, that would probably help because what happens is, is the water runs down that sidewalk and just floods that area. Okay. That overruns that drain that's there, it gets plugged. Oh, and that whole corner yeah. sometimes will get icy. Not very long, but it does. So, would limestone it would, it would probably help? Would it improve the movement as opposed to what's impeding it right now? Exactly. I think so. So, the grass oh. kind of stops it. Yeah, you know, stops it. Okay. But then yeah. maybe drains into that property. I mean, huh? well, could we make it worse by actually throwing limestone there? No. I mean, I'm going to an idea to help move that along. Putting gravel down there would, would well, be an improvement. Here's the thing. If it was so graded it correctly, correctly you know what I'm saying, but were graded correctly, the water would just kind of undulate that way as opposed to pool and make an icy spot on the sidewalk, which is incredibly unsafe. But I don't know what the laws are as far as if, you're, if it absolutely has to be like true level or if you can have a small slope if you're doing some kind of limestone or anything. I'm looking at moving, taking the water and moving it to where it should be. Mm -hmm. There is no application. I can do that. I'm planning on doing that. Okay. So, but to, just to, to make aesthetics, to, to, let, to make it look like it's connecting to the road. Right, right. Or how it would be an improvement. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Not necessarily. Well, that's our so goal. If they go to like fix that, that drain, drain they and they call over there, and that, that, yeah, that would say, yeah, that would be something that would come in and, and tie the cement in and do it right. Now, when they when they clean the other drains in town, do they clean that one? Hmm. Well, maybe we should get it on the drain cleaning thing. Because they come and flush it. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, we need um, more done. The old fashioned one, but this gets it back We need more done, yeah. So, would spring of 2022 be good? I think so. You I don't want to get it this fall. Personally, I think that's easy. Well, I'm, I'm going to do something. I keep that site wise. I kind of think that clear. Um, I cut up that. You'll always see that little. Box out there and that's me keeping it clean <laughs> mm. so I can see around the corner. Okay. <laughs> so I, I'm just time frame. Do you want to try and do fall of 2022? It'd be us or CPW. He's, he's got the limestone, the, right? He's got the scoop of well the limestone the limestone is the polyant trails. So we've got gravel. Okay. But we could buy bags or donate bags of mm -hmm. limestone. I say bags of limestone. I, Say yes. like, make it spring. I make it think spring. we're going to need to put something up front that we have a small goal that we can right. achieve. Right. So we'll and there's two very doable things right. that we could do. Okay. Look at split. I think it might just give people a sense of that something's happening. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the people do watch. Am I humble? Just I'm going to just read further on real quickly because uh, we're past nine o'clock. Uh, unless you want to continue. Just get this so I can get it before Mike. Uh, the the phases will just I'll just tell them we plan on phasing it. We don't have when we have these we have these phases and these priorities. We need more research, but that'd be enough to bring for him. Um, planning commission recommendations: most sidewalks should be concrete or cement. I can't remember which word I'm supposed to use. Concrete. concrete. Okay. Uh, not asphalt. Uh, state and federal funding new sidewalks must be five foot wide. Most sidewalks in Leonard are currently four feet wide, a few are three feet. These are just like facts. To maintain the aesthetic look of Leonard, it is the Planning Commission's goal to maintain a cohesive look to the sidewalks in the village. If it makes sense to repair or connect sidewalks that are currently four feet wide, you should keep them four feet wide and not replace small segments with five feet wide sidewalks. 
And that's where, you know, the, the little transitional pieces. Right. At least there. You could add, if you had to transition from, gotcha. and I'm not stretching it long, I'm just yes. showing you, you know, the small pieces. And that's what that goes with. So this would be like, I'd have to refer to this, refer to document, whatever this is going to be called. Yeah. So let me write that refer. Um, figure. Figure something. Figure A. <laughs> New sidewalks of extended length would transition would transition to be five foot wide wherever possible to obtain state and federal funding and meet complete street standards. Um, then I've just added this as a measure of what this Oakland County does and what Michigan does. Their goals are a transportation network that is accessible, interconnected, and multimodal. That and that safely and efficiently moves goods and people of all ages and abilities. A process that empowers partnerships to plan, fund, design, construct, maintain, and operate complete streets that respect content, context, and community values. So I put the source, and then um, Michigan's Complete Streets Legislation, Public Act 134 and 135, signed into law on August 1, 2010, gives new project planning and coordination responsibilities to city and county and state transportation agencies across Michigan. The legislation defines complete streets as roadways planned, designed, and constructed to provide appropriate access to all legal users, whether by car, truck, transit, assistive device, foot, or bicycle. And then, of course, the source. I think you move both of those to, toward the beginning to cover what you were trying to do in the proposal. Okay, so where should that go? Because I'm open to suggestions. Well, you, you, you had referenced complete streets in the proposal. Right. Would it be beneficial to have both of those definitions? In my first draft, I had it at the beginning. But you thought it was too wordy and it wasn't really... It didn't get right to the meat first, but I didn't know if maybe that background is good at the beginning. But maybe it's definitions. It's maybe, definitions. So yeah. maybe it should be left at the end with just a reference to definitions to reference to say reference definitions for. I don't know what what do you, what do you think? I would, I definitely would I think because which one board may have questions on it. If you so let them get their own answers. Um, so go go with what Oakland County and Michigan recommends first, so that they know that we're not just making this up. We're actually following what Michigan and Oakland County wants villages and cities and towns to do. Well, you're, you're keeping in tune with our community. The community is Oakland County. We're yeah, a part of the state, so it's, yes. So, so move it to the front. Move to the front or leave it in the back? I'm inclined to leave it in the back and, you know, it's as referencing the material. Um, and, and you know, if you give these all section numbers, then you could just reference section right. 1B and 1C. Right. Or right. Whatever. And so the proposal would reference. Where where would we need to reference that? I so just want to get some information. I guess, just, and it's like you said, it is. Every, I also yeah. had it kind of as an, I, I drew a line and I said appendix, but I was going to say we had an appendix in the master plan. Uh -huh. where it did say that these were options for us, right. kind of the way you had it broken down a little bit with some mm -hmm. of the funding options. They were all in that one appendix. Mm -hmm. um, it was like, so just and start right here with an appendix. Let's leave them in an appendix then. Okay. This, uh, this part of the, the master plan here, where it's got little, you know, little bits where, oh, you can use, you know. Right, right, right. It's kind of broken down, you mm -hmm. know. Okay. Then the summary is the goal is to move people, and I think I just repeated the beginning. Yeah. The goal is to move people safely and easily to the common community areas while connecting non contiguous sidewalks, extending sidewalks to the downtown businesses, schools, and nature park. I just repeated what the beginning was. I don't know if I should reword it or provide that. It's fine. So, notes at the end. Uh, Beautification initiatives, reminder letter to residents to please edge and remove the grass clumps growing on their sidewalks in front of their homes or property. Get on the budget. The goal, our goal is to get on the budget for 22 and continue forward. 
and I already told you about the deadline. Then this, I, I found this on a page that talked about, um, I think it was on Ultra County's website. Uh, they referenced the Road Commission that when you have considerations, you consideration the bicyclist needs, where like in town, uh, there's too much gravel in the road, the tree branches and bushes are over sidewalks. Uh, motorist needs sidewalks, keeps the people off the road so they don't hit them, I don't know. Uh, pedestrians need safe sidewalks and crosswalks. Disabled persons, they have ADA needs just to be able to access. I didn't know about equestrian needs. Fine. Trail access, you know. I don't know uh, where they're coming from, but transit, us transit users' needs would be the school children and the buses and crosswalks. Um, commercial vehicles, they need wide turns. And this is the appendix, too. I could, yeah, put that in the appendix. Uh, all right, well, I think anything of the pictures here are just fall under maintenance. Anything the ADA corners fall under our ADA budget. The major projects are just the, the connecting Rosie Court to town and connecting the park to town or the fire station to town. And that could be a two-part thing. Otherwise, the subdivisions are maintenance and maybe phase you know, five, way out. If, you know, we just say, let's take a look in the future at these two subdivisions having more sidewalks. Well, and if that's, you know, your phase five might be getting rid of the village limits. Right. Literally. Yeah, the very, very end, if there's only one house in the north side. Yeah. I but guess you can get to the importance of the person. Right, <laughs> yes, everybody's important. They still, still need to get there. So, um, can I, oh, there's one more thing, that, is there any other village questions and concerns? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right.
and we'll find out if it's okay and there's no conflict, yeah. and then we'll appoint you officially. And I'll just I'll plan on starting next time. Right. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Perfect. It was no, like, I'm in a room. Oh, we need a second on the motion to... I will second the motion. To is at 9.15. Okay. Thank you. Okay, everybody, thank you for your time and attention.